it too like a young O'Shea with an AK. Okay, don't you tell these motherfuckers that my name is O'Shea. It's the Nation of Podcation Daily Podcast. I'm O'Shea. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. Hip hop icon, mogul, philanthropist, actor, whatever else you want to call him, 50 Cent, the legend, goes off and talks about his issues with Fat Joe and how they resolved them. Now, as we all know, in the early 2000s, 50 Cent came out as one of the kings of hip hop and took over hip hop. Well, he had issues with Ja Rule and Murder Inc. And we know Fat Joe was loyal to Ja Rule and Murder Inc. He had worked with them before. He had worked with Ashanti. And up until that point, back in the early 2000s, he had his biggest song with Murder Inc. with Ashanti. So I believe it was the What's Love song, and that was one of his biggest songs messing with Murder, Inc. So he was loyal to those folks that he was making money with. Well, we all know what happened between 50 Cent, Murder, Inc. and Ja Rule. 50 Cent shut them down, was, was dissed them, and Ja Rule's career has never fully recovered from that. Well, in this recent interview, 50 Cent talks about his issues with Murder, Inc., talks about his issues with Fat Joe, why Fat Joe's loyalty started the whole issue between G-Unit and Murder, Inc., and how they resolved it. Let's take a look at this clip from 50 Cent as he explains. Uh, absolutely. Like, like my, the entire beginning of my career, I was up against the leverage of murder and, and that energy already created relationships that I, I didn't fuck with people because they had already dealt with them. So my whole beef with Fat Joe was really his loyalty. All right, see right there, 50 Cent talks about his issues with Murder, Inc. And Fat Joe's loyalty is the reason that started their issues because Fat Joe was loyal to Murder, Inc. And 50 Cent didn't rock with anybody who was rocking with Murder, Inc. Let's tune back in. Later, we become the best friends. Like, I, like I'm really fucking with him. He's loyal to a default. Like, because he worked with him, he's like, nah, I already saw him with them. You know what I'm saying? It's like... Even when you look, I bring it to right to today's time. It surprised me, 50, when I was... When you see, like, NBA young boy, little girl, issues, and they, they got extreme shit going on, right? But when it happens, NBA young boy will be away. So Dirk has an extreme advantage. Right, so... You 50 Cent's kind of calculated right here. He's talking about the whole issues between Dirk and NBA Youngboy and how NBA Youngboy, when he goes away, Dirk kind of takes over because Dirk is home. Let's tune back in. This is actually out moving and me and people. So you do something later and you go, oh, it, you ain't, we ain't no game time. Like, that's not what we're doing. But you still got to be conscious of street shit because the street. You can just be oblivious to it in the streets. I catch up with you and eat you like breakfast, man. Right? Like, it is what it is. So, you look and you go, nah, it's like when you reach out to Dirk, to Drake, and they go, nah, I fuck with Dirk. You know, every young boy wanted to do something to that nigga. Yeah, yeah. You said, what? You said, I wish that was just something in my face. All right, Nation, there you have it. So you got 50 Cent talking about his issues with Murder, Inc., talking about his issues with Fat Joe, how they got over it, how they real, real cool now. And he's talking about how uh, NBA Youngboy and Dirk having issues, which is kind of similar to what 50 Cent and Ja Rule were going through back then, except neither one of those guys got bodied like that. 50 Cent bodied and eliminated Murder, Inc. I mean, after he started dissing them, Murder Inc. never came back. They had their Fed trial. It, it, was, it was over with for Murder Inc. He shut them down. So shout out to 50 Cent. He's always a great interview. One of the best to ever do it in Hip Hop Nation. What do you think about 50 Cent's comments on his issues with Murder Inc., issues with Fat Joe, the issues between NBA Youngboy and Lil Dirk? Nation, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. Peace. O'Shea and I have been kicking it strong for a minute now. O'Shea doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. O'Shea is a professional model. Attitude like a young O'Shea with an AK. Okay, don't you tell these motherfuckers that my name is O'Shea.